Hi everyone, welcome back to the Declarative Academy. If you're new here, hit subscribe so you never miss a trailhead. In today's episode, we'll tackle the Create Support Processes project. By the end of our session, you'll have the skills to design and shape efficient support workflows through support processes, create specialized record types for various case flavors, ensuring tailored experiences for each situation, manage pick lists effectively so your agents have access to only the most relevant options at their fingertips, automatically escalate stalled cases, streamlining your support operations, and don't miss our hands-on challenge where we'll build everything step-by-step step in a playground org. So stay tuned and let's get started. Picture this, you're the admin at AW Computing. Noah Larkin, the brand new VP of services, wants his support team to move faster and keep customers smiling. He needs one streamlined path for product support and another for customer inquiries, plus a safety net that kicks unfinished cases up the chain. Let's make it happen. All right, let's get started with adding Noah as a new user. First things first, let's grant our VP the access he needs. Head over to your setup menu and search for users. Once you're there, click on new user. Now it's time to enter Noah's details. Fill in the basics for first name type Noah and for last name Larkin. Make sure to include your email and choose a username. Next up, we need to set the user license. Select Salesforce platform to ensure Noah has the right tools at his fingertips. Now, don't forget to assign him a role. How about Customer Support North America? Sounds perfect. And finally, click Save. And just like that, Noah is officially in the system. Great job. Let's start by heading into the setup area. Here, type in Support Processes and click on New. For our first process, select Existing Process Master. Now, let's give it a name. Type in Product Support Process. This will be our dedicated route for logging product-related support cases. Next, add a description that fits. Process for logging product support cases. Now, click Save, and don't forget to click Save once more on the status. With our first process in place, it's time to create the second one. Follow the same steps as before, but this time, let's switch it up. Title it, Inquiry Process, and describe it clearly, ensuring it serves its purpose effectively. By segmenting product issues from general inquiries, we aim for clarity and simplicity, making it easier for our teams to manage cases efficiently. Next, let's refine our type pick list to equip our agents with the precise labels they need, nothing extraneous. First, head to the Object Manager. From there, we select Case, followed by Fields and Relationships. It's time to create something new. Click on Type, then hit New to introduce our labels, Product Specifications, Shipping, and Warranty. Once finished, save changes. These values will soon play a crucial role connecting seamlessly to specific record types. A streamlined process means agents can focus on delivering outstanding service. Now, moving on to build record types. Still on the case section, click on record types, then hit new. Here, we're creating two distinct types. For product support, assign it to the product support process and link the specific pick list values you just added. Next, we have customer inquiry which we will tie to the inquiry process. It's essential to ensure that support users are designated with the appropriate profile so that they can access both record types. After this, click Next, choose the layouts that suit your needs, and finally, Save. The result? Each team member gains a focused view, tailored to their requirements, eliminating unnecessary clutter from their workspace. Next, let's create an escalation rule. Start by navigating to Setup, then Escalation Rules and select New. Name your rule Unresolved 48 Hour and check the active box. Next, click on New Rule Entry. 
set the sort order to one and for criteria, ensure the case status is not closed with an age over of 48 hours, route these cases to a tier two support queue. Finally, hit save. Now, any unanswered cases will automatically escalate after two days, helping us respond promptly and keep our customers happy. Let's recap while you verify your steps. Support processes carve out different life cycles for different case categories. Record types. Pick lists keep forms tidy and relevant. Escalation rules act as your automated watchdogs. Put together, they give agents clarity and customers quicker resolutions. If this video helped you, smash that like button, drop your questions or wins in the comments, and subscribe for more trail tested tips. Until next time, keep it declarative and keep blazing your trail. Bye for now.